Ah, I am so glad that you have joined me. This island does not get many visitors, but you have come to me. Welcome to the island of Dr. Moreau. Now, tell me, what is your name? Sarah, that is a delightful name. Tell me, Sarah, how did you come to find yourself on my island? Oh, a shipwreck that is most unfortunate. It is good that you are such a strong swimmer. The seas are unforgiving in this section. And while normally they are quite docile, the sharks that swim around my shore get rather aggressive. So you are fortunate that you have been found by my people and that they have brought you to me. So please, Sarah, make yourself at home. As you see, my assistance will bring you any refreshments that you desire. Ah, yes. There is the small question of the nature of my companions. Well, Sarah, I am Moreau, but Dr. Moreau will also do fine. I am a geneticist of some small skill. And over the past several years, I have been learning the secrets of genetic manipulation, using the most recent advantages of CRISPR to accelerate the evolution of creatures and of man. So, you can see all of the creatures that you see here that walk on two legs and speak to you in English were once base, dumb creatures. But they now are like you and I. They have intelligence. Perhaps they even have a soul. I would not know. But if they did, would that not make me their god? <laughs> now, Sarah, tell me, why have you come to my island? Really? No. Do not lie to me. My shark men brought the remnants of your boat. It did not sink by chance. Your boat was destroyed. Are you here? spy on me? Did you sink your boat on purpose with the intention of spying on my island, reporting back to the governments? There are many who would like my secrets. Perhaps it would be best if you never saw the light of day again. Now, Sarah, I am very intelligent and I have many tools at my disposal. I will not cotton to your lying to me. You know, I have found a way to turn animals into men. There is no reason. I cannot turn 
you into an animal. Which one would you like me to infect you with? Would you like to have the speed of a cheetah? Of course, the transformation would be incredibly painful as your legs restructure themselves into a running format. You would lose the ability to walk on all two legs. And of course, if my calculations are even slightly off, you would lose the capacity of speech. And your mind may be irrevocably shattered. Tell me, Sarah, what do you think would happen if I turned you into a cheetah and then turned you back into a person? Do you know, in my youth, I had many pursuits and I used to convert sound files into one format to the other. And they would always say that the two were, were identical, but they were all slightly different. And if you did it again, and again, and again, well, eventually, you had nothing but a garbled mess. The same is true of your DNA. If you do not tell me the true reason why you are here, Sarah, then I shall employ my full extent of my genetic knowledge warp you beyond all recognition. Imagine what will be left of you after I turn you into a cheetah, and then into a goat, and then into a rhinoceros, and then into a bunny rabbit, and then, only then, transform you back into a human. Imagine the catastrophic pain that that would cause you. And imagine what that would do to your mind as it was flooded with the hormones of those creatures with their thoughts, their desires, and their lusts. What would be left of your human mind when I brought you back? What are you telling me? Sarah, I have a love of science fiction. It's, it's what led me to my profession. But are you trying to tell me about temporal anomalies? You are truly trying to convince me that you are under attack by a creature from the future, an automaton. I am supposed to believe that. And you were told by another, a human from the future, that my island was the only chance for your survival, that the brute strength of my creatures was the only chance of overcoming this automaton. Well, I am not so easily fooled. If this is so, where is this robot that you call this cybernetic being? You're saying that he weighed 400 pounds and as such, even with his considerable strength, sunk to the bottom of the ocean, but is walking here right now while you were able to swim. Well, I don't want to believe you. However, several of my shark men have failed to return and they are unkillable. At least, I thought so before now. So, come, Sarah, come with me if you want to live. Come with me, Miss Connor, and we will find a way to defeat this creature with my 
creatures. We will make a final stand on the island of Dr. Moreau. I hope you enjoyed this role play. This was a suggestion from one of my Patreon supporters. Her name is actually Sarah, which inspired this mashup of Terminator and Dr. Moreau. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter, just go to the link below. I greatly appreciate it. And let me know what creature you would like me to transform you into.